Howdy, partner. You ever feel like there might be a little bit of fairy dust and pizzazz up in your soul you just can't quite let out? Well, I've got something very special for you today. In today's video, our special, sweet, innocent, uncomfortably awkward boy, Sesh Fish Stomping, goes to an improv class in Sandini. That's right. It's Tumpin' Improv Time. Now, just for a pre-warning, it gets raunchy, spicy, sexual saucy, and sometimes downright inappropriate. Avert your eyes. The show must go on. I'll sing you a true song of Billy. Oh, everybody, welcome I'll to Drama Club. My name's Percy Peckles, famous star on the stage. You may re recognise me from Alice in Wonderland. I am available for birthdays, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. Today, we're going to do some drama. We're going to start by saying our name. My name's Percy Peckles. Alabaster Wilhelm. Hey everybody, my name's Sisyphus Tumping. Desmond Bourne. Lando Lawrence. Patrick Beale. Hamish McFrugelson. Marvin Maitree. Buster Trip. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah, going to yeah. do the alphabet game. We're going to split up into groups. Right, we'll start with like group with three or something. And uh, yeah, it's the alphabet game. So we, you know, you have a conversation. You improvise a conversation. But each line needs to start with the letter of the alphabet. Um, hey everyone, I don't know how to read or rap, so could y'all yell out the letters to me and I'll kind of I'll make the sounds like them. All right, fella. Uh, scenario, anybody got one? Or... Okay, you're, you're in a library and you, you've brought a book back, but it's, it's ten years overdue and you don't want to admit that, I don't know, I can't think of a good one. Has anybody got a good one? It's a book about sex positions. And one of you is really interested in taking the book out and the other one not so much. Oh, I like that. One librarian and two, yeah, one returning and one wants the book. But he has to be a little shy about it. I like that. All right, who's librarian? You guys choose. Well, I, I will, I'll be the librarian who doesn't want the book. Oh, I'll okay. be the one who wants the book. I'll, I'll return it. I'm definitely uh, the type. Okay, who's going first? Uh, why don't you start? Okay, uh, what's the first letter? A. It's like, ah, uh, okay, um. Oh, man, I gotta return this book. Uh, is there any librarians here? Beautiful day to you, sir. Good evening. How can I help you, us two here, librarians? Can I just ask, is that book that looks very old, 10 years old, in fact, uh, is that the one you're aiming to bring back? Need some help here, everyone. I don't know the alphabet. D. D okay, um. D. Did you really just ask me that? There needs to be some sort of client secrecy here, sir. I, oh, let me cover the cover here. Is anyone reading this? Erotica, I see. If you don't mind, I will gladly take that off your hands. I don't care that it's 10 years old or if any of the pitches are kind of sticky. Frankly, I am appalled at the pair of you for peddling filth in a public library. We are supposed to enlighten people, not titillate them. Genuinely, I bought this book for my pa, but I gotta be honest, I can't open it anymore. It's crusted shut. Hardly a problem. I have so many things at home. I can rub against that book, get those pages open so I, I, can, I can look at it. When it's, you know, past 11 p.m. and my life is full of lust and regret. Uh, I am disgusted. And if I get my way, I will burn that book before anybody else has a chance to take it away. Gently, you can take this book from me, but don't go uh, thinking no specific thoughts about me. And especially this guy right here who seems to be so judgmental. Killing me it is the lust I have to see what is inside that book. Help me, the flesh is weak. Let me take that from you and ease your mind from veering into absolute depravity. My, my, sir. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're jealous of my Paul in the times he had with this book. 
Are you trying to tell me you're taking this home for your own lust and satisfaction, you sinful person? Now don't get all mad at him. I'm the one who wants the book here. In fact, I mean, if you want to look at it together, I got nothing wrong with that. Uh, I get off at, uh, I think six. Oh my god, it is getting worse by the minute. Please, gentlemen, I think we all want the same thing here. Hear me out. Gentlemen's Reading Club. Question, are clothes at this club optional? Really, really, that is your question about what he is suggesting. Seriously, boys, we obviously all have some lustful needs in this life, and as men, there's nothing wrong with showing up, getting oiled, and being naked together. Let's take this book for what it is, and... Enjoy the fruits of life our Lord Savior has given us. No women, of course. Truth be told, I'm very excited for this. Uh, I forget what I said about getting off at six. I feel like I'm getting off right now, just thinking about <laughs> this. Under this desk, I have a tub of bacon grease. If I give it to you both, will you go away? Vivian, that was my mama's name. It's nice to think that her death is what led me to getting this book, and perhaps it's also now leading to some new friendships. I think this is what my mama wanted. Oh, well, Patrick, that all depends on the quality of the biking grease. Is it going to burn my skin if I rub it on my chest? Do I ha I have X, don't I? Yeah. Uh, shit. Xylophone books, Xy madam. Yes, they are at the back of the library. Do excuse me while I finish this conversation with these two perverts. Um. Yeah, anyways, am I going to be able to get a refund on the uh, late fee since uh, we're starting this special gentlemen only book club? Zebra stripes. No, you're not getting a refund, but like I said, I will take that book from you. Okay, I'm next. We'll do Basta. We'll do Lando. That was we'll great. Do you did a really good job. Else, I, see, I wish that book yeah. club was real. Yeah, Half, of course. Too.